Hi guys, this is Eric. Um, today I'm going to be redoing a video I did a while ago about reversing VST instruments and Reaper. Um, the reason I'm doing that is because my voice was really quiet in the original video. Um, so this effect um, or this process that I'll show you is kind of a workaround to um, it's where you won't need to buy something like Rev by Output. Um, and if you haven't heard of that, it's it's just a massive library, uh, multi-sample contact instrument where they re recorded a bunch of instruments live and reversed all, all the, uh, the samples. And um, it's a pretty cool library, but if you don't have $200, um, this is a way to to work around that. Um, so first thing, you have to record a MIDI event. Um, I'm just going to do like a 15 second um, little ditty here. Um, I do have some lag uh, because of the settings that are able to capture my voice and everything I'm doing on uh, Reaper um, make it so the latency is a little high so bear with me So once you have recorded the MIDI, I'll double click on the um, MIDI event. Then you go to edit, select all, and then you'll want to do reverse selected events. Um, they used to have reverse in the edit menu, but they took it out in an update, which, you know, that's fine. So in order to get these options here, you have to go to Options, Customize Menu, Slash Toolbar. Then you want to go um, Add. And then you, know, you can either manually go down and look for everything you need, or you search for it. And what I did was just selected all the Edit, um, Reverse, and all these things. And then uh, you press select and then it will add them here um, and then you save and it will show you what it looks like here what your customization looks like so we want the one that's uh, reverse selected events so after we selected reverse selected events so after we reverse it we right click on the main track, then we go to render freeze tracks, and then render tracks to stereo stem tracks and mute originals. And you can do mono if you want, um, or these ones, but I like this one, it, it makes the most sense. So, um, um, after we have rendered that, we right click on the item itself then we go to reverse on the bottom there and for some reason you can't see but there's an apply button on the bottom right so you apply then it reverses the track and we'll see if that lined it up It didn't really line it up very well. So what we'll do is do that. Not a big deal if you just have to line it up. Just keep the original MIDI file. Um,
with no effects or anything. So, you know, you can put reverb before or after you reverse it or do all sorts of weird stuff. You know, people who know stuff about sound design more than I do. So, um, so yeah, that's bas basically how you do that. Um, yeah, any instrument VST that um, records MIDI and makes a sound can be reversed. Um, and it makes it sound like it's being played real time. Um, so yeah, if uh, this seems like an alternative to Rev and you haven't plunked out $200 yet for that, then maybe you don't need to. Anyway, thanks for watching.